Hey guys, it's Bano. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Blind. In the last part, we took control of this airship and we wrecked everyone! Woo! But I don't know how to fly this thing. They apparently said check the operation room, but I'm like, yeah, uh, mm. And it's weird, because it's like, how big is this area underneath this deck? Shouldn't be that big. But I feel like, yeah, so we, so the, uh... There's also one last room we haven't gone into, I just kind of say... Did I say Chocobo? Excuse me. I'm bored, wanna ride a Chocobo? Listen, you gotta ride in on a Chocobo, you've raised yourself. Then if you bring your Chocobo to the stable, you can let it rest here. I'll take care of it for you. What? How do you raise a Chocobo? Because Chocobo bad now? If you want to raise a Chocobo... Stuff that, so I'm guessing... If I get another Chocobo, because I'm guessing my Chocobos run away, I can use them put him on this and then I can go wherever I want with him. Okay. Just sit. Uh is my signal in my buttons? There appears to be a small island near the live stream. Is it the live stream? Yeah I got it. Oh, that's cool. We're going. Also, I'm guessing the level four just wanted me to say stuff. Okay, so Oh, okay. So I hit A to go. And I'm guessing I'm going over here. Not near Midgar though, although I can go to Midgar, but I'm guessing this is what I kinda need to fly wherever the heck I want. Fly at all Final Fantasy something like. So I'm guessing uh, there's a wall pushing me back. Whoa, what the hell was that? They came buzzing past here like a powerhouse. So I can't fly in there. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, I didn't read the thing, so I'm talking about going southeast. I guess we'll go there. I think we've gone there. It's kind of weird. When I press up, it makes me go down, and when I press down, it makes me go up. I know plane controls, normally it's like that. Also, what is that? Is that that's that place. I don't remember doing much there, you know? I remember coming in there, like, briefly. So I'm guessing maybe it's this place? Uh, wait. No. I'm guessing we hold down up and land it. Land it. Is that landed? How do you land the thing? Maybe I gotta tell him we're staying put and I'll let us land. Okay, so if I tell him we're staying put. No. How do you. Are these the, oh, are these the landing guys? Okay. Uh. What's the landing button? I'll figure it out. Maybe it's one of those. Slide buttons. Uh, no, that actually is strafing. Uh, excuse me, do you know how to get off this thing? Other than. I just exit the place twice. Alright, we're cancel to land. I've done that. I have been hitting cancel, but unless it doesn't want me to land in a forest, in which case people watching are cringing. By the way, I feel like because I've got this, I can do a bunch of side quests. So anyone in the comments, tell me some side quests. I'm not gonna cut too far ahead, mainly because I feel like next week I will work on um There we go. Okay. 
Uh, next week I will be working on a different Let's Play for the week, so that means this will be a bit more up to date. Because I feel like this is a week behind. I don't think I've gone anywhere. Oh yeah. Hey you hey. hey. <laughs> Jeez, I can't talk now. I really can't talk. Oi, hey you a bit. Yeah, this is me Dale. It's quite a hot little hot springs town. It's the perfect place for old folks like us to live out our lives. I hear that things ain't so peaceful on the outside, but yeah, it's still nice and quiet. Okay. What's the matter? Are you all alone? You got lost, didn't you? Separate from someone you love. Silly thing. I guess it's been about a week now since he washed up here up on shore. Poor pokey-headed young thing. It's really sad, but weird. He was holding this for really long time. I don't know, the whole thing feels unlucky to me. It makes me think of those weird blue eyes. What? Sorry, what? Oh, those guys. What? Wait a minute. What did you just say? Excuse me, that person you were just talking about. Yeah, a villager found him. A little ways down the coast. I think it was about a week ago, I think. Poor Gary must have drifted from somewhere pretty far away. Cloud, it must be. It's Cloud. Over here. Jackpot. So where is he? Is he safe? Where is he now? Yeah, up ahead here. At the, uh, clinic. He's alive. Cloud's, Cloud's alive. Cloud. Oh, wait up. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. Cloud? Hey, you barge in here like Meteor is crashing down or something. I'm sorry, but I heard a friend of mine was here. A friend? Oh, that young fellow. Don't worry, he's next door, but his condition isn't good. Here. Over here. Cloud? Oh, no. Oh, Cloud, I'm so glad you're safe. Cloud? Uh, what, what's wrong, Cloud? Uh, uh, Cloud, what happened to you? Mako poisoning. Quite an advanced case. It appears this young man's been exposed to high levels of Mako energy for an extended period of time. Probably has no idea who or where he is now. Poor fellow, he can't even speak. He's literally miles away from us. Some place far away where no one's ever been, all alone. Doctor! How horrible. That's terrible. Cloud. Ahem, let's excuse ourselves. Listen, would you all mind waiting outside? Okay. Jeez, poisoning. Ugh. And I hope Cloud doesn't die. Just get rid of the character roster there. I'll leave it down to five. Is Mira's screen turning kind of red? I think it is just me. Why? What do you want me to do? Please, Cloud, talk to me. Tell me you see me. That you can hear me. Tell me, please. I made it this far believing in the memories we shared. This isn't happening. It's too cruel. Oh, Cloud, I... Oh, no. That's actually one thing I'm very afraid of, is, like, having someone... be, like, in hospital and stuff. Tell me, Doctor. Is Cloud alright? I mean, will he heal? I'll say it again, he's got Mako poisoning. I've never seen a case this bad. An immense amount of Mako drenched knowledge was infused into his brain. It's a miracle he survived. No normal human could have. No wonder he fell into the life stream and washed up here. But remember, the light of hope can be found anywhere. If you give up hope, what will happen to him? Hmm, I know he'll recover. Cloud was a strong member of Soldier. Are you alright, Tifa? Yes, I'm sorry to worry you. There's something I want to say to you. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez, he's got his head banging. I don't care about anything else, only Cloud. I, I want to be by his side. Yes, that's best. If 
Tifu were minus, I'd switch places with Cloud any day. No space, got it. I'm sorry everyone, especially now. That's alright, we'll be by again. Hope Cloud gets better soon. Right. We should be getting back to the high wind. Alright, well, back to the high wind. What are we gonna do now? What can we do? Huh? Ain't there nothing we can do? And don't go telling us to wait for Cloud to get better. Oh, I've got some news. Yeah, what? That you a spy? Yeah, I've already told you I was. Both Kiahaha and Kiahaha are up to something. Wanna eat, Joe? Uh, what? <laughs> oh, classic. Now then, we're faced with two issues. One, destroy media. Two, remove the barrier around North Cave and defeat Sephiroth. Any ideas? Yeah, <laughs> the first problem's already over. Media will soon be smashed to bits. The plan is already in motion. We are collecting huge material from each region. What? Huge material is a high density special type of material made through a special compression process in Mako reactors. The energy extracted from it is 330 times the strength of normal material. <laughs> How about that? We will gather all the huge material together and ram it into the media. That will cause a huge explosion, reducing media literally to bits. We're going to ram media. Do you think we, we have the technology to do it? First things first. Right now, we've got to collect huge material from each area. We've already collected material from Nibelheim, we've got Iron Man. All that's left are Corel and Fort Condor. I've already dispatched troops to Corel. <laughs> Corel! What else can I do with Corel? The huge material. You mean the huge material, don't you? I've heard about it. When our smaller material nears the larger one, there should be some reaction. I'm certain of it. That's why we're using the material power in our fight. Gotta let Shinra get a hold of the huge material. Besides, when Cloud gets back, I want to show him this huge material. He's gonna be shocked. So, what are you saying, Barrett? Even though you're always knocking him, you really want Cloud to return? I ain't saying nothing about nothing, so just shut your face. Every group's gotta have a leader. And that's me. Or at least I want to be, but I ain't cut out to be no leader. I never knew that till lately. That's what it is. <laughs> Dang it, Sid. Oh, what's going on? You've been chosen to be the new leader. Pain in the ass, forget it. But for us to fight, we gotta have Highwind and you. We need to save the planet. And who's running the ship? You. That's why you're our new leader. And no one else can do it. And it's just like, hmm, this ship's gonna, gonna save the planet, huh? Ain't that gonna be a little tough? Oh man, stab me in the heart. I'm a man too. Okay, I'll do it. Everyone follow me. Alright, now here's the first job. The operation room's waiting for you. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, there he goes. Making a bolt for it. Yeah! Yo, Sid! Are you ready? We're heading for the Coral Reactor. Come on, leader man. Let's hurry. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I can save it. Uh, or at least I'll... Yeah, I'm still gonna choose these guys. Barrett had a bit of time in the sun. Red Thirteen indicates that they're low level. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? I know the part is only 14 minutes right now, but I'm gonna end it off here, purely because I don't wanna have too much rushing ahead, because I feel like if people do want me to do some side things, like, don't, don't spoil the side things, but just tell me, like, is it important, and, like, how important is it, and also, like, will I get cool stuff out of it? Uh, so anyway, yeah, I guess with that, I'll see you guys next time on Final Fantasy 7 Blind. See you kids then.